humidity going on to start getting some moisture issues. Now, it's a little hard to see in this particular image. Uh, this is an image of mine, okay, so I know firsthand what happened here. But there I put the red rectangle because if you look, at first glance on your screen, you might be thinking it's kind of pixelated. Well, it's not. You see a lot of little white areas, little white dots and, you know, areas there where it looks like maybe it's some missing ink, and that's exactly what it looks like up close. Uh, this was a situation that was caused by moisture. Some moisture uh, was in the transfer paper, and when I went to press this onto some fabric, I was working on some um, appliques uh, for embroidery purposes, but I was printing the fabric for the applique. Uh, I got some of these this here, and of course it made the image useless. So, uh, you know, you can see things like splotches, missed color, fuzzy looking details. All these things can be symptoms of moisture. Now, when we're talking about moisture and pressing, um, if you go and look at your transfer paper, well, you don't have to look at it. If, if you consider the transfer paper, most paper out there is very absorbent, almost like a sponge, okay? Uh, though it's kind of hard to squeeze it and get the water out, okay? I mean, but it does have a tendency to absorb some moisture into that paper. Now, when we go and place that transfer paper on the heat press to, you know, start the production process and there's some moisture in there, and we apply 400 degrees Fahrenheit to that moisture, uh, it tends to not exactly dry it out. It has a tendency, if there's a lot of moisture, to actually flash it to steam. So now we have steam down there on the surface where we're trying to sublimate, and the pressure, because steam always deals with pressure, okay, the, the pressure of the steam can literally blow away the dye from where it needs to be. Uh, and you'll see quite often when you're sublimating a small amount of steam coming out, but when you start seeing steaming, you obviously have a moisture problem. Now, the degree of the problem depends on whether it really affects the quality of the image. You may see some light steaming here and there and really end up with picture-perfect images and you're fine. But if there's a lot of moisture in there, there's a good chance that you're going to get um, color shifting. Uh, your, your colors may lose some of their accuracy, some bleeding of the image, uneven transfer of solid field areas. Uh, some open areas where there's no ink at all. Um, I've actually seen what looks almost like water droplets on like uh, photo panels or maybe metals that really weren't water droplets. You couldn't walk, wipe them away. But they had that kind of that look and shape, you know. Uh, and they were all a result there of moisture getting into the pressing process. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact us today.